Hey guys, I'm here with another Photoshop tip for you real quick. Um, using gradient maps, I'm going to show you how to create an explosion like this in just a minute or two. And so I have a new layer down here. And this, initially what I did is created a sort of silhouette with a uh, smoke brush that I have, just to get um, a good shape for whatever explosion is I want. And then once we have that, you're going to come down here and go to gradient map. And you'll see that what it does is it maps all the values in our image to whatever our gradient is down here. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. So first of all, I'm going to come up here and clip this to our explosion layer and just hold Alt or Option and click between the layers. And now it's clipped. What I'm going to do is come in here now and I've created an explosion gradient beforehand and I'll include that in the description for you. And so what this does is maps our uh, whites, our lights to all these uh, orangey colors and our darks to um, these smoky colors. So I'll just click OK and you'll see there's not really much going on now because we had black in that layer. But you'll see if I come in here and start brushing in there. And you'll see that I actually have this, uh, my opacity is down a little bit which is going to be what you want. And then I'm also going to turn off the transfer. And so what this does is this will sort of stamp this for us which is uh, a little bit better than um, using pressure sensitivity for this type of thing because the brush that we have is uh, sampled from a photo and so you'll get a much more realistic result this way and uh, you might want to adjust your opacity on the brush a little bit more and so what you do is you can just experiment and come in here until you get um, a sort of look that you like in terms of the explosion. It's actually a lot of fun to do because what it's doing is we don't have to worry about all these different colors and effects. The uh, You'll see that it's black and white in here and then it just maps those black and white values to our explosion. And so you can just play with um, the composition of it without having to worry about your colors and details and things of that nature. You know, and then once you have something that you like, you can go back in there and add more details and change it up if you needed to. And then so doing this for a minute or two, you know, we can uh, keep going until we have something that we like. You can also come in here and use, uh, you know, dodge and burn things a little bit to punch areas up or maybe darken some areas that you uh, want a little bit darker. You know, and you can also um, just do a levels adjustment on there and sort of pull things out or push them back depending on how you want this explosion to look. And what you see is I also have a color balance and a levels adjustment here. And I can clip those to my... Um, gradient map and explosion and what that does is that just integrates our explosion a little bit better and we can still continue to uh, adjust this and paint on it and have those colors uh, sort of match our uh, background image or painting a little bit more you know and what you can also do is you can uh, duplicate all this merge it together set it to something like screen and just do uh, some big Gaussian blur on it and drop that opacity and then that might help you integrate it a little bit better or make it look a little bit more explosiony but um, anyways that's really all you need to know with uh, gradient maps and this sort of thing so I hope that helps you and uh, have fun